this looks like a Saturday night time out. Now I've got this young uh, protege, erudite uh, fingering producer in uh, Gobi State, in Nigeria, right? Uh, with a very unusual ashy facilities up north in Nigeria. One of the biggest, I can say. Now, this come to Lagos to uh, to buy some one or two things, and he said she pay me at this fish place, right? You know me already, isn't it? So we said, let's just share one or two things beside the fire. No, not the fire, but this is a firebrand fish, really. <laughs> the piranha. So I said, beside the firebrand fish, uh, let's pick some information fire for you that will benefit you in making you move on with speed in your fingerling production process. So I'm going to make Tolu just tell us one or two things about uh, his experience on feeding the fish. Because I know it's a major issue. Everybody wants to lower their cost of feeds and have feeds that can improve the strength, the immune system of his fish and the survival of the fish. So, Tony, totally you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Good nice to see you. Thank you, sir. Now, I know you've been producing a lot of fingering, so that's about that. But uh, every, to every success, there's always a secret somewhere along the line. Okay. Probably our problem is just share mm -hmm. one with the, with the people out there. Uh, will you do that for us? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I know uh, he said he's uh, into using uh, microorganisms to feed his fish. Mm -hmm. Just like some people are using senior ones, uh, Atemia salina, or people call it branch shoot. So what's your own experience? You talk about the varic approach. Yes. Uh, there, there is something I came uh, across online. I think it's from a university in Chile. They, they talked about uh, using sacromancy uh, as a part of fish feed, oh, especially okay. at their initial stage, that's the fry stage. Okay, and, and, you and said chili now. Yes, chili. Ah, you're going to give us a chili information <laughs> from there. Okay, that's okay. Go ahead. And according to the journal, they say the sacromancy service, which is yeast, shouldn't be more than 20% of the feed. It shouldn't be between 10 to 20% oh, yeah. of the fish feed. Yeah. So if, for instance, Brazil using 0.2, one kg of 0 0.2, yeah. you could mix it with uh, 200 grams of yeast. Are you able to go? You just, you just mix it and then you use it immediately. Use it immediately. Okay, I know. Then sometimes you can grind the to make it uh, out the food that you can mix up together. Okay, you okay. only just focus on that one uh, international paper. And then you just yes. close your and eyes and just. And right from when I started uh, using that technique, I've been experiencing good results on it. Did you hear that? Now let me. Uh, well, I've read one or two things on the on the on that CP two, uh, which is the use of uh, uh, what they call it probiotic. It's a probiotic world now. That's like the AI AI aspect of uh, fish farming now. It's very very open. And one thing I can add to what you just said, which is going to help you too along the line, is that uh, when you add the saccharomyces to your face, I've come across papers that talk about it potentiating your, the protein in your feet by as much as 30%. But you're going to wait for about one, uh, one 24 hours to 72 hours to make it perform the job on the, on the on the protein in the feed by the fermentation process. Okay. First of all, it actually uh, turned the uh, carbohydrate in the food into a little bit of alcohol. By the way, I think that would be good for your feed. They're a little bit drunk and they're a little more active, you know. They don't give a damn anymore, they eat a lot and cook. The only way drunk can do that, he drinks himself to stupor, right? Yeah. Now, for fish, he, he will want to eat himself to stupor, but okay. <laughs> it's good for you because uh, it's not eating quality feeds. And I know fishes are creatures of uh, habits. They won't overheat like we would do because we have control over ourselves. Mm -hmm. And when we lose control, that's when we get it wrong. But most animals, they know when to say stop. But what this would do is to get them excited because of the uh, effect of the of the carbohydrate on the, uh, uh, will I say glycolysis? I don't know if I'm going to use the right grammar now, but to turn the carbohydrate into something like uh, uh, alcohol, some kind of while it's about protein, eating the protein, mm -hmm. and that's it. That's it. So I'm going to advise you do something when you get back today. You mix today, use today, and then leave some for the next three days before you use. Unless it affects on the fish, I'm sure it's going to really do some protein potentation. Now, most of my research, I don't adopt fish. 
and uh, that's where the game is really because we want to reduce the cost of feeding fish for the four five months period and then reducing the cost of protein and this comes in when people are really finding it difficult to uh, manage fish meal which is the most expensive in really. so even though we use fish meal at the least you use you can now use cut your fish meal by uh, one top and they still have the full complement so if you buy fish meal for five thousand dollars people are still feeds now you can actually buy the one of three thousand uh, three thousand five hundred naira or thereabout and they still have the full complements if not more and i think that's wonderful apart from the this slightly drunken effect <laughs> behavior of your fish and i think they'll they'll be happy they'll be happy like this guy here now if we get a bit drunk <laughs> I think it's conscious, it's, it's a part of our impact. Oh, oh. Mm. Now I'm careful not to put my fingers mm. in. Because this guy is a bad boy, close to Chile. He's from Brazil, from the Amazon jungle. They call it Piranha. I'm sure, just Google it, in case you don't know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some sharp tooth, right? That can actually do a bad job of my teeth. So we try to groom him to learn to take flakes. But that doesn't mean you throw him some chicken, you won't take it. We love it, and if to look, we just do a double for us. Oh, His no, four fingers are still intact. <laughs> if you can just put one in there, <laughs> let's see what happens, and then we can close up the recording. <laughs> are you ready to do that? No, I have to decline, sir. <laughs> He's declining. <laughs> Thank you so much for granting the interview, you, Tolu. And then uh, I think you get one of the things, uh, viewers, and I hope to see you say a big thank you to him through the comment section. Mr. Fish speaking. <laughs>